Look what I have for you today. Canadian snacks. Ooh. By the way, shout out to Stacey Brasnett for sending us these Canadian snacks. We're so excited to try them. We've never had Canadian snacks before. So can't wait to dig in and see what we got today. Okay, let's see what we got. Old Dutch ketchup flavored chips. Crazy, never had ketchup flavored. Hickory Sticks Original. Sheriff, butter tart, filling, ooh! So we probably can't eat these today because you have to make these, so we'll save this for another video. Ooh, cheesies! Ruffles, all dressed assassinis. All dressed something, looks like French. Ooh, Mr. Mr. Big! Sesame City! Crispers Barbecue, okay. Um, Super Passion Flake. Ooh, apple raspberry. Looks like a tart of some kind. That looks really good. Joss Louis, the super. <gasps> this looks like a ho-ho. Ooh, yeah. Cherry Blossom. Looks like a chocolate with a cherry in it. I don't know about these. Maynard's Swedish Berry. Ooh, some Swedish berry. I feel like Jamil's gonna like this. Crispy Crunch. Ooh. Glosset Peanut Aracha. Aracha. I don't have no idea, but looks like chocolate covered peanuts. Wow. This is incredible. Jersey milk, ooh, Jersey milk chocolate. We have Cadbury caramel. We have Big Turk, oh no. Nestle Big Turk, Turkish delight. Oh, I'm scared. Ooh, a Wonder Bar, Cadbury Wonder Bar. Here, these are good. Glosset raisins, okay, kind of seem like raisinettes. Eat more. It's just called Eat More. I have no idea what that is, but we'll see if it makes me want to eat more. Coffee Crisp, Thrills, what else? Mirage, Nestle Mirage. I never realized Nestle makes like all these other chocolates, but this is super cool. Tim Hortons, Double Double Coffee Bar. That sounds really good. Okay, two more things. Celebration, <gasps> ooh, this looks so good. Maple Leaf Biscuits and I have like a cream filled center. Bomb. And last but not least, <gasps> Nano, Nanama, Nanaimo bar. That's exactly what it says. It's exactly what it says. So you have to bake these. So it's like it's like a brownie. We're making these. I mean, probably not today, but that these look really good. Thank you again, Stacey, so much for giving these to us. We cannot wait to try them. There's obviously so, 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 so many things. So I think what Jamail and I are gonna do, we're gonna pick our 10 most favorite things we want to try today and we're gonna save the other ones for other videos later on so we'll be right back so which one are you starting with i have to start with these these just look so good i can't okay maple leaf celebration cream cookies okay i'm gonna have to bring these down here to open them jamil's gonna be so mad at me the way i open these it smells so good it smells like maple Let's try this as a cream center. All right, so I'm excited to try this. Smells really good. It does smell a lot like maple, obviously. Okay, not as good as they smell. However, after you've like eaten it, it gets better. I do like these. The flavor is good, but it doesn't taste like it's good. It doesn't smell like it's gonna taste or it doesn't taste like it smells. I really can't tell you what this tastes like, but it's definitely not like as mapley as you would think. However, it's good. Like I feel like with a cup of coffee, these cookies would hit, but they're not like the best I've had in the world, but they're okay. I would finish this and maybe even go for a number two. So they're good. Yeah, I like these type of cookies. So I'm a little biased, but it's a little plain tasting at the same time, which is really strange to say. I think overall, I would give this a six out of 10. I give it a seven out of 10. What are we doing next? Ketchup chips. And I hope that these are like crispy, salty with a hint of ketchup. So I've never had ketchup chips ever in my life, but I've heard about them. I'm excited for them. Oh my God. It's like ketchup, but with spice. Oh yeah, look at that. They're like transparent almost. I can see through this. I can see you guys through this. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm scared. So let's see how it is. Are they vinegary? I've had this flavor before, but I swear I cannot tell you where I had this. But it has a, it has like a vinegar punch with ketchup. It's almost like a, like a shrimp flavor. 
cocktail sauce. This is cocktail sauce. No, I can't do these. Have another one. I can't do these. Try it again. I'll try one more. You no. Like it? If it wasn't ketchup flavored, I would really like it. The ketchup almost gives it a little bit too much of a generic taste, if that makes sense for chips. But I like these. Like, I kind of want another one. They're very flavorful. They're different. But I give these a seven out of 10. I don't want to say it's bad, because it's not bad. I think overall, I, I would say try these out if you like to. Um, I would give these a four out of 10. Four out of 10 for sure. What do we have next? Crispy Crunch. It's Cadbury. It's gonna be good. Well, I like the little slip that it comes in. It's kind of cool. Ooh. It's almost like reminds me of like a Butterfinger type of texture. Let's see though. I like how I get seconds. That's Kristen's bite right there. All right, here we go. I'm taking it from the back. <laughs> no pun intended. Or maybe pun intended, I don't know. Butterfinger, hell a bomb. Oh, yeah. That's good. It really sticks in your teeth. Like, Butterfinger really sticks to your teeth, but this is harder. This is like hard like toffee. You can't bite too hard on this because this will take your teeth out. Butterfinger sticks to your teeth, but this one was sticking so much it almost felt like it was pulling out my back tooth. You need like floss, you need a toothbrush, you need a pick. Like this is crazy. Regardless, this is really good. What do you prefer, this or Butterfinger? Right now, this super duper good. I give this a nine out of 10, it's delicious. So overall, nine out of 10 for this one for sure. Um, I'm probably gonna finish this, okay? I'm gonna wait till Kristen's not looking. I'm, I'm gonna finish that. Up next, we have Cheezies. Totally looks like a Cheeto. It's Hawkins is the brand, never heard of it. You guys, I love Cheez-Its. I hope this tastes similar to it because I don't want like generic tasting Cheez-Its. I really- Cheetos? Yeah, Cheetos. These kind of look generic, you know what I mean? But maybe that's because we're from the US, right? I wonder if we were to send a bag of Cheetos to Canada, if they would think that they looked like generic cheesies. Whoa, that is serious. Anyways, let me eat. That's what I do. Ooh, I got a big one. These taste exactly like a Cheeto, but they're extra crunchy. Like you gotta chop, chop down on these bad boys. These are hell of them. Ooh, this will take a tooth out. I like these a lot. Cheetos are more puffier. This is like, like a rock. Hell of them. This would be delicious with a sandwich. 10 out of 10. And I'm gonna say, I like these better than Cheetos. Cheetos are good, but these are winning in my eyes. It's like a nine out of 10. I really like these. I really like these a lot. Mm. These are good. What do we got next? Next? Oh gosh. The Big Turk. I didn't even realize what I was picking up. But we've had Turkish Delight before, and I don't know if this cho this is chocolate covered or not, but um, the Turkish Delight was rose flavored. Oh, this is chocolate covered. I've been waiting for this. I can't wait to take a bite. You guys know I'm joking, obviously. I'm scared. It smells like a, like a chocolate that has fruit on the inside, is what it smells like. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna once again take it from the back. Oh no. I'm eating a rose. I'm eating a flower. It's like a, it's like, hello, I just walked into Macy's and I'm in the fragrance section. But not so, mm, like, you know, spraying you with a fragrance. It's like, oh, I'm gently walking into the mist. You know what? For whatever reason, I don't mind it. Maybe it's because we've had so much chocolate and gummy stuff now over the last few months. I actually like it. Is it gummy on the inside? It's, it's like a gummy. It's gummy and it's rose flavored. But that chocolate on the outside, it really doesn't do anything for it. Would you have it again? No. The chocolate isn't doesn't overdo it, but the, the rose gummy flavor actually is pretty good. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a, I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. I mean, you know, let's not go crazy. But let's give that a six out of 10. That's that's pretty good. 
it's like a three out of 10, maybe a two out of 10, but Big Turk, no, you're going back. I'm not a fan. On to the next one, Super Passion Flake. I bet you they're pretty flaky. Yes! This kind of reminds me of like a McDonald's something. Look at that. Sure. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. So here's my half of the Passion Flake. Or it's a flaky. It's flaky. Ooh, I like how it smells. It smells good. It's like a cake almost, but like a, well, it's a pastry. That's what pastries are, right? Cakes, kind of. It's made with the same ingredients, I think. I don't know to cook, so. I don't know to bake either, so I don't really, you know what I'm talking about. Let's just eat. Let's give us a try. Flaky. That's a lot of flake. <laughs> it tastes a little generic, if that makes sense. It doesn't taste like real cream and real raspberries. Is that what this is? Oh, it is. It's apple, uh, apple raspberry. <laughs> I don't taste no apple in here, guys. The apple raspberry flavor in the middle is not my favorite. I like that cream stuff though. There's a cream in the middle. I think that's very delicious. I don't mind it. I mean, I give it like a solid six out of 10. It's good. It's not bad. I think I would give it a four out of 10. All right, let's move on to the next one. Next, we're gonna try Eat More. It's a dark toffee peanut chew. Ooh, it's pretty looking. Definitely looks very chewy. It's got that dark toffee look to it. This is definitely gonna be a chewy thing. It doesn't really hold up, it goes limp. So let's try it. Hmm. You know, it's okay. Nope. I know why they call it Eat More. They're saying, please, please keep eating me. I know I'm not the best. I know you're probably not gonna want another bite, but I'm asking you to keep eating it. It does taste like, like it has a little bit of chocolate in it. I don't know if it does. I think it says something about toffee. Does it say something about toffee? Yeah, it's toffee and peanuts. It's toffee and peanuts. That's what I'm told. You know, it reminds me of like a, a, a Lara bar or like a Cliff bar. It's kind of that texture, which is fine, but I'd, I'd give it a four out of 10. One out of 10. I think I'm gonna give that a six. Thrills, thrills. It still tastes like soap, gum. Oh no. Man, is this a freaking soap flavored gum right now? Okay, it says it still tastes like soap. Is that supposed to be a good thing? It's not a good move advertising wise. Let's see how this gum is. OM, OMG. Is it amazing? OMG. Oh yeah, the smell. Well, let's try it out. Maybe Kristen's tripping. Why would they sell this? This has to be a gag gift. This can't be real. Oh my God. Here you go. Oh my God. Okay, I'm trying to read these ingredients. Nothing's looking different except for Charna Uba wax, and I'm guessing that's what I'm tasting is Charva Uda wax. I feel like I walked into the nature section of the grocery store, the all natural essential oil section, and they put it on one of those natural oil bars of soap, and I literally, they made it into gum, and they want you to put it in your mouth and chew it. This is just not good. It's not good at all. I don't know who would even like this. You're better off just grabbing grass from the ground and just chewing it, if you want to freshen your breath. It is literally foul. It still tastes like soap. That's a guaranteed way of people not buying it. I'm gonna tell you that right now. With the rails, you get a, a one out of 10, and that's because I can't give anything a zero. I should give you a zero though. It's literally a one out of 10. And we're gonna do this. This looks like a ding dong. Joe Slui, I don't know how to even pronounce it. Ooh, like I said, it looked like a ho-ho. This looks like a ding dong. Oh, I can't really take it all out, you guys, because it's gonna crumble, hella. Yeah, but I'll do this. It's pink in the middle with a chocolate outside. Ooh, it smells really good, though. Man, I still have that gum in my mouth, and it is not the business. I might have to take two bites of this, because the first bite's gonna get that gum out of my mouth. Oh, yeah. 
thank you. The snack gods knew I needed this right now. It's a ding dong. Ooh, like I said, it looked like a ho ho. Name any hostess thing as what it is. Mm. Hella good. This is good. 10 out of 10. Josh Lewis. <laughs> That's what it says. Josh Lewis, super. Wow, this thing is really crumbly. crumbly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, take a break a piece off from the back. Of course. <laughs> you know what? The thrills is in my mouth still. <laughs> and it is killing the vibe on this thing. Cause this thing's good. But it's, it's as though I'm chewing thrills at the same time eating this. This is so good. This is straight up a ho-ho that we have out here. These are so good. I mean, this is the nice thing about this versus a ho-ho is the ho-hos are smaller, actually. This one's like a really nice big chunk. So I love this. I would eat this all the time. This so far is my favorite. It's a 10, no question. I just need to get thrill out of my mouth. I need to get it out. Cadbury Wonder Bar. A peanut butter caramel experience. Let's hope it's a good experience. Typical bar. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that pull though. I'm so excited for this. Wow, it's just so good. It's got a light peanut crunch in the middle with a creamy creaminess. I don't know how to pronounce, I don't know how, like, how to describe it, but it's like a peanut crunch, but also like peanut butter, like creaminess. Wow. This tastes exactly like a Butterfinger, but the texture, it's like a trampoline. You like, it's soft, and then you come to the middle, right when you're at the, the point of chewing, and it's like hard. Soft hard. Soft hard. This should be called Thrill, for sure. Um, there's really not much to say about this other than the fact that it's incredible. I gotta give this a 9 out of 10. 9? You thought it was gonna be a 10? Yes! Maybe it is a 10. You know what? It's a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Wonder Bar is wonderful. I wish they had here, these here in the United States. So now that you had Canadian snacks for the first time, how do you feel? I loved this. I enjoyed it. I think the quality of the chocolate's really good. I think the quality of the chips are really good. I feel like it's a better quality than in the United States, for sure, what you're getting. So I would definitely say it's very similar to like American style candies and, and snacks. Um, I definitely really enjoyed it. You guys, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna say overall, out of 10, I'm gonna give these, I'm gonna give these an eight out of 10. They're really, really good. I really enjoyed it. 